are going to be back from requests, and they're going to be doing Arachnid by Thumbly. So I know it's a medium map with some bootstrapping, so that means we're going to be here a while. And I don't want to be one of those people that are like, you know, complain all the time. Well, it's not really complaining. But I go through such an internal struggle of, uh, how do I want to word this? To keep doing this sort of thing, because, you know, I do it for nothing, basically, so it's just, is it my time worth it to sit here and do this? Why would I even think that would work? That's so stupid of me. To sit there, you know, like, is it worth it to do this, take double the time to edit the thing? Because, you know, like, if a video takes an hour to record, it takes me, like, an hour and a half to edit, then you gotta render it out, then you gotta upload it. Is it worth to do that in my free time, rather than just sit there and play a game on my own instead? Like, if that's what I was spending my free time on. There's such an internal struggle with that, and it that's why I disappear for weeks at a time at this point, because I, just, I, I don't have the motivation to do it sometimes, to be honest. So if we're bootstrapping this, how would we even start the bootstrap? I mean, there's that. And where would that come? Okay, that comes out to there. Okay, wait. Oh yeah, if I just angle it. Angle it where, though? Wasn't Wait, that's a connection thing right there, isn't it? Yes. So if I angle it this way, that's not lined up with that. What am I doing? Oh yes. Do it this way, right? No, that's not right. <laughs> Why is this confusing me so much? Okay, let me just look at it from this way whenever I step on the button so we can get, well, so I can get a better perspective of what's happening. Right, so I got that completely wrong. So if I would have had that turned the other way... Oh no, it was... Okay, it was that that dropped the cube. Okay, see, I was under the impression, because I'm an idiot, that the button was the uh, factor in dropping that, but I just didn't pay attention. So if I do it this way, that's going to activate something up there, which I'm not aware of. And we, oh, the door's already open, so is that going to close the door? But I don't think that's connected to the door, but whatever, let's just give it a try. I can't really tell. So I'm going to walk up here and try to find what that connection does. Oh, is it a staircase right here? Is that what that is? Alright. Sorry about the little rant earlier, it's just something I have to get off my chest, because it's it weighs on me uh, a lot. And I just, you know, I need to talk about it, but, you know, what can you do? I'm sure if there was money involved in some sort of way, it would be completely different because the time invested would be worth the, uh, you know, the amount, you, you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying I do it just for money, it's just like, well, that's a connection right there. I'm not saying I do it for money, but, you know. Like, you, you do it for like four years, and at some point you're like, okay, it, nothing's really changed. You still like it, but is it is it still worth it? You know what I mean? It's it's that sort of thing. Oh, it's going to activate that, and then I switch. Okay. So would I... I do that because then we'd have the bootstrap of that being activated so I can get off of this. And then let me come up here because I'm getting a feeling I need to I need to maybe switch this back. Yeah, I need to switch it to this way and then step on that button again. So I could go upstairs and go up that lad the ladder. Up the stairs. 
to go up the stairs. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. See, like that. But then if I step off of that, then we have that problem. So do I just switch the... Well, see, but I can't just switch the orange portal because that's what keeps that on. There's also a laser back there. You know, I realized I could just go up there and look. So I'm going to do that, just to take a little peek at what's up here. Alright, so... Light is going to come on, activate that. It's going to... is that for the door? The door's already open. So I'm guessing one's going to activate... I'm not really sure about that one. But what activates this? Is it that? Like, if I had a... If I had the cube and angled it into that real quick, would that being on activate that, which would turn whatever is on over there and give me a laser to aim somewhere? Maybe at an angle through there? I don't really know. So let's say we're going to break this, so I'm just going to do this just in case. So either one of these portals, blue or orange, is going to throw off the bootstrap we have going because, you know, that's connected to that, but it's activated, which goes into itself. So either one you move, it's going to break it, like so. So is it something with that that I just didn't get the right combination of? Because, I mean, I'm going to set it up again, and even though I made the quick save just to see if there's anything different that I missed. And you do that, and then we're back where we were. But it's something with this. We can't have the laser come down and hit that, because that's going to redrop the cube. Although it doesn't really matter too much at this point, because we have that set up, so... I don't quite know. All right, let me try what I wanted to do earlier, which was just, like, connect this up. Okay, so it closes the door. I'm sure it does something else. That can't just be for the door. What are you doing, Cube? Relax. Relax. It's okay. I'm not leaving just yet. I'm still making videos. It's okay. Um, I don't know what to do after that, though. I could reset that up again, but have that laser activated. Or I could use that laser and connect it up to there. Okay, that's a possibility. And then I don't need that connected for it to be on. And then I can do this. Right. Oh no, okay, well I can do it this way. Either way, it works. So now we have the staircase to go up there. Okay, so if I was to do blue portal down to there, that would be connected to that, which we don't need just yet. Oh, actually, we do need that. Let me press that. So we can get our regular cube. I'm assuming that's going to go right on that button. Whenever we get that set up. So maybe, let's do that. Then I can just do that from here. Right, so... Actually, no, either it goes on the button or it goes... Uh, to block this laser from coming down. I don't know. It's one of those. I mean, it would be a nice way to get... Hold on. You know what? Putting it here might not be a bad idea, because then we would get... All right, hold on. What do we need to leave? Okay, I think to leave, we need to take this cube, break that connection by putting it, like, right there at some point. So... Oh, that doesn't come down. Oh, that does, that does come down. That's right. So we need to go... Let's Let me try to run through this. Take this cube, set it on that button. Okay, that's going to be 
permanently activated because it's not going to kill the cube if we were to use the other cube. But it's going to kill the laser cube and drop it down here. So that connection is going to be down into there. We could break that connection and set it up in a way that we can get back up there. Take that cube that would be on that button. Break that connection. Then I have to get it reset up again. Man, let's see, that's where I'm running into trouble. I'm going to try part of that. See, we'll make another quick save here, just because it's a better point. Is some bootstrapping having to do with up there, I'm pretty sure. Down here at this point, maybe that connection its kind of a non-factor. So we're going to do this. Then we're going to take... Uh, Oh, I can't walk through that. Because there's grating there. Damn. Okay. See, that kind of changes it now, because I can't really get up there. Unless I do a bootstrap with the other connection. So, like, doing this again... Taking this off? Because I don't need that laser anymore? I think. So I could take both of these up here. Try not to bump it into the connection, because I believe it's what I have to do uh, with that cube. Hopefully. So if I had to take both of these up here... And then possibly block this. Oh, okay, yeah, I kind of see the problem I have with that, because that activates that, so having that in the way will never have that permanently activated to keep that on. Okay. But the door is open now, so if there's a way I can maneuver over there while having something set up for that, because as far as I'm aware, there's no surfaces up there that I can use to portal from. They're all down low and right here, so. It's what can I do with this? Is the question, because I mean, I could walk that into there again, but then that's not going to activate because, like I said, that needs to activate that, and that's blocking that, so it doesn't work. I definitely need a constant connection so I could uh, activate that, uh, the connection that's connected to that. Oh, and I also, oh, that's right, I also need that activated as well. That's how I walk up there. All right, well, is there anything I can do up here? Gonna test that again. Probably not, but I feel like I've messed this up. So we're back here. Reload the quick save. I'm gonna see if there's a way I can do this without taking that cube off the button. Which I'm thinking maybe there is, but I gotta reconnect that up uh, from there. Cause that seems to be the the way to go for that. There we go, and then I could probably turn this around once I have that connected up. So there, as a way to get around, just don't. That's, well, I guess it don't matter. Yeah, so we can do that. That connection's still on. can bring... well, no, I can't because that's bootstrapped in there. Oh, would I... okay, would I do... I'm trying to think. 
If I was to break that connection up there... Because I don't need it anymore. I think. Because now that I have a cube there, I can constantly use this connection. So I'd... I'd have it... Uh, let's see. Let me, let me try to run through this one without fucking it up. So pretend... Before we do all this and have it set up like this, we have broken that connection, which opens the door. It has no other connections to it. The only thing we needed it before was for the laser to connect up into that, to keep that going. But I'm pretty sure we don't have to do that now. I think. So we come up here, it's set up like this. I portal there. Oh, I can't portal there. I could portal here. Go down. Ah, see, that doesn't work. See, that if that wasn't graded, I could walk right to that and just drop down. See, I, I, that's what I want to do. I want to just drop down. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I need that anymore. But for me to be able to drop down there easily, I kind of need that connected to there. Because instead of using this, I have this one. Which I can move, maneuver around however I want. Damn, am I confusing myself? I think I am. I feel like I was getting closer to the end there. Because let's say like I do... I'm going to quick save this one right here. So if I do that, it goes away. And then I lose my bootstrap. So that doesn't work. You know what? I was right earlier whenever I had to drop down. So I've just seen it now. Yeah, if I go... If I go and break this, because we don't need this at all. Just break it. There we go. Door's open. Alright. I don't think I need this bootstrap either, actually. Do I? No. Yes? <laughs> you know, every time I think I have it, I just get confused again. Alright, so this is probably going to break this, hopefully. Yeah, well, because I moved forward too much, yeah. Alright, so if I do it like this, nice and gently. Go up here. Don't need that. I think my, my obsession with that bootstrap is what held me back too much. So, we'll do that, right? Then we'll do this. Once I drop down... Yeah, yeah, okay. Because now I switch this this way. Well, once I get it again. And I aim it into there. But see, I don't need the staircase to get up there now. Oh, I hope that lines up. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't look very straight, but we're going to hope. I'm gonna hope that it lines up. Alright, see, so now from up here, I can do this. I do it. <laughs> I do it. We'll get it. Just give it. There we go. Now, the real question is what connection. Like, what surface can I see to get rid of this? You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't. Oh, if I do this. There we go. Man, that was really clever. I gotta give it the usual fumble score of an 8.5. It's a great, it's a great map. I, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say this though. Fumbly is currently my favorite map maker. Whether they're easy maps, so they take like two minutes, or they're difficult maps that take me like 45 minutes to an hour, it doesn't matter. They're all great. So with that, I'm done for today, and I'll see you next time.